Hello guys and welcome today I'm going to show you how to turn your very old PC into a file server that you can access over your network so let's get started so actually I have this running as a media server on my home uh, that I put it all my movies on and then I stream it to all the devices on my network uh, and those are 1080p movies and I have never seen a frame drop while streaming so it's actually usable so I'm going to explain how to do that on my Windows machine here and how to get it up and running so the first thing you'll need is your old PC in my case here I got a Pentium 4 one core CPU yes a one core CPU 512 megabyte of RAM and a 50 gig IDE hard drive IDE if you never heard of that that's the old connector that's before SATA or M.2 then you will need a CentOS minimal ISO I'll leave a link to that in the video description a USB stick and the good old Rafas I'll leave a link also to that in the video description so you start by burning CentOS with Rafas on the USB drive and then plugging into the system that you want to turn as a run that you want to turn to a server then install the system with your desired settings uh, after installing CentOS plug in your ethernet cable and configure your network settings to auto connect by command in this article I leave, I leave it in the video description and then reboot now after you get your network running just follow the commands I'll be putting an in-depth article so you can have a better understanding of what's happening in this video I'll leave it in the video description uh, I will not show the process because this will take a lot of time so let's get the magic of video editing here so now after you go and have everything running go to windows and right click on this PC or my computer depending on the version of windows you have then right then press map and network drive then type in your share name and assign a drive letter now you should see it in the file explorer under your normal hard drive partitions uh, if you restart the server you must log in to start the server sharing so if you don't want that just follow this article i'll leave it also in the video description now after all of that unplug everything from your new server of, except of course your ethernet cable and your power cable and whenever you need it just press the power button and please if you don't want it always up uh, turned off as this is not a real server deal so it can't run 24 7 uh, just press the power button again and it will send a shutdown signal to the system and power it off so now we get a basic server running let's optimize it so we can get the most out of it so you need to turn off the power saving options on your BIOS settings go back uh, you will find that on advanced uh, then start your server after you disable that uh, open the smp.config file then I leave, a com uh, I leave this command in the video description Add it to the global section and restart SMP and NMP servers. So now everything is running. Uh, you got your new optimized server. You can put movies on it. You can just store files on it. But don't expect much from it as I, in my case here I get like 5 megabytes a second on wireless and like 12 or so on a wired connection so it's not the fastest thing in the world uh, but you can get something out of it I know eBay listing that lists this same computer with like 10 bucks so it's nearly free so you have to limit your expectations here hope you get your server running 
Thanks for watching and I will see you later.